Some classmates have a question. When I use Jupyter Notebook, where should I upload the source data to so that the notebook can find the source data files and import them into notebook for data analysis purpose? The answer is very simple. You just need to save the notebook file into the same folder where you plan to store the source data files. Let me show you. Once you open Jupyter Notebook, you can see a list of folders. You can use any of them. Let's say I want to use documents. Then in the future, I must save my notebook file into documents along with the source data files. If you want to use documents, click on it, and then you want to upload your source data into documents. You might have downloaded the source data files into downloads folder, right? You just need to click upload in the upper right corner. And then you want to find the source data files. It doesn't matter where you save the source data files. You just need to find it and then click upload. Now you see in documents, we have the source data file, right? Now let's create a notebook file. Let's click a new and then Python. We want to click the save icon first in order to save the notebook file into documents as well. Now we can develop some code to import the source data into the notebook file. Let's use pandas library to import it. I want to use the read CSV function from the pandas library to import the source data. We need to give two parameter values to this function. The first one is the name of the source file. My source file name is fb1.csv. So I need to type in two double quotes and then between two double quotes, I type in the file name. The second one is the SEP value. Because CSV is a comma separated file, so I need to give a, a comma to the SEP value. If you want to take a look at uh, what's inside of the source file, we need to type in df and then click run. Now we have imported the source data into notebook. Currently, the name of your notebook file is uh, untitled. If you want, you can change the name of the notebook file. Let's say we want to rename it to Learning Python. Click uh, Untitled, and then you can give a new name, and then click uh, Rename. Now the notebook file is changed to Learning Python, changed to this new name. If you want to make sure, you can switch back to the home view. Now you can see under Documents, you have a Learning Python, this note notebook file. At the same time, you have the source data file fb1.csv. So as long as you save the notebook file and the source data file into the same folder, you should be able to import the source data into your notebook file.